my business card says explorer. That seems like a kind of a crazy career choice, but many of you in this room are going to have careers and positions and titles that we haven't even thought about yet. And your generation is gonna be on the cutting edge of fantastic new changes. For me, these caves are doorways. They're doorways of possibility, meaning I get to explore places that nobody has ever seen or documented on the planet. These crazy places that are sometimes really small and sometimes the size of this gymnasium in places where I can't even see the walls or the floor or the ceiling for reference. I thought the presentation was phenomenal, like we, we couldn't have asked for more. Um, it was very inspirational, the, the sort of technology, the sort of science, the sort of issues that are coming up that Jill uh, discussed, these kids need to hear it. And now, just last September, we did the very first robotic cave dive. This mapper will swim through the cave on its own and map as it goes. It just gave me chills to realize that something like this robot could explore anywhere filled with water on this planet or beyond. And that Bigger Brother device is going to go to Jupiter's moon Europa. So that first off-planet cave explorer is going to be a robot. I think that it was amazing. It was very inspiring and empowering. Uh, it was really inspiring. Um that she started with a fine arts degree and moved into exploring caves under where we're walking right now, possibly. Like, she shows us that no dream is too small and that you can kind of do anything that you want to do. It just reminded me that you can push yourself to accomplish what you want. All the technology was pretty fancy. You have an opportunity to have new experiences. Embrace those opportunities because that's where you move further and that's where you get to do something really new and exciting. Women are able to do important things and that is very inspirational to me. I think she inspired some students here. Getting students to realize there's other things out there, not just in Cold Lake, and bringing somebody in that can talk about something that maybe can spark even a couple of those kids, that is something I want to do. It's, it's fun to watch that too, because we like to see students get that giggly feeling. Oh, this is so cool, I can't wait. I can't wait to learn more about it. So uh, we really appreciate uh, Osun's uh, time and effort they put into this. They've been helping us for years now, uh, from science equipment to PD sessions to presentations for the students and staff. And without their help and support, uh, we wouldn't be able to make this stuff possible. And it's, it's amazing.